Eritreans to go across across the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, the ship went down and they, and they died. Uh, probably it wasn't a ship, it was more like a small uh, boat. Um, yeah. Do you, and you you have a title within that organization for yourself? Well, I'm a member. A member. I'm a member. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And is that is that kind of partially what everybody here is, is a part of? Uh, yes, and we have the chairwoman okay. here too. Okay. And others as well. Great. Um, okay, so tell me just a little bit, you know, general knowledge. What's going on here today? What are you guys doing? Well, we're here today, um, and uh, May 24th uh, is our Independence Day, which that would be Monday. But we're here today, two days uh, before the Independence Day, um, to bring to the attention of everyone in the world that uh, although Eritrea is an independent country, people don't move independently. They're always monitored um, and um, they're forced into. Um, <laughs> they're forced into um, military service. Uh, for years on end, and while they're in there, uh, aside from getting military service, they're also used uh, to serve the generals, the colonels, people in the administration, to clean up, to move items, and so on. Um, and uh, the other thing is, we have a lot of prisoners that have been imprisoned indefinitely without a trial. And this goes on, from what I know and from what I hear, that this has been going on um, for quite some time. Um, and um, the other thing that I want to say is, um, uh, Eritreans have been imprisoned uh, because of their religious beliefs, and there are only uh, three or four religious religions that are allowed in Eritrea. And aside from those, others uh, are put in prison indefinitely. Uh, a few uh, religious prisoners were released some time back, but aside from that, uh, things pretty much function uh, the way the government wants it to function. There is no, we don't, we have a constitution that was, um, uh, that was not enacted, but we do have a constitution and because of uh, the war some time back in 98 with Ethiopia against uh, the regime there at the time, uh, the government uh, chose not to enact uh, the uh, constitution that was ratified. And so, um, aside from that, um, I don't know what else uh, you would like. Yeah, well, Any other um, questions you may have? Yeah, just kind of, what is what is the hope of, of doing this period? You know, what are you hoping people may not know, find out, and what can we do? Well, what we would like is for people to know uh, what the conditions are, and um, uh, just knowing they, they would uh, also inform others, and it would get around, politicians would know about it, and uh, when we come out and uh, we demonstrate, we would have support from other nonprofits as well, who, uh, Human uh, Watch is another one, Amnesty, Amnesty International is another one, so we would like to, to get more uh, NGOs and humane organizations to support us uh, so that we can, our voices can be heard. And uh, right now, um, the Senate passed uh, a, a policy saying that uh, the uh, war in Tigray needs to stop and all the uh, atrocities are going to be investigated. And so uh, this has come about through demonstrations and people going out and talking and so on. And so that's what we, we would like to happen for, for us to be known uh, and for our issues to be well known by others as well. Um, outside of politicians, is there anything that you know our general audience, if they see this and they wanted, they wanted to help, what, what could they do? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's sort of like a... Um, any kind of website or anything where they could help you guys out? Well, we don't have a website yet, but we're in the process since this is a new organization. Uh, we are in the process of setting one up, and when we do, then you know that will be available and it would be a good way to contact us. Um, any future, um, you know, caravans, protests, anything, anything you guys have coming up in the future? Uh, 
in the plans, yes, mm -hmm. uh, we will have as events come up, like we're going to our uh, June 20th is our Veterans Day, and I'm sure that on that day it will be really emphasized that uh, there are people dying continuously, and it's like we have continuous veterans, <laughs> not only from wars, but from the situation in the country. Um. I know that you mentioned that Monday, you know, is your Independence, Independence Day. Day. Yeah. Now, you know, obviously in America, our Independence Day is a huge celebration. For you guys, is that a little bit different with, with things not quite right in your country, or do you guys still celebrate your Independence Day? Well, we are going to celebrate uh, the fact that so many uh, Eritreans gave their lives selflessly to get this country uh, independent. So that is what we remember. It's really hard to um, have festivities going on when there are people uh, dying of hunger, dying because uh, they don't have uh, the medication that they need. Uh, COVID is another issue in the country as well. Um, so we are going to remember uh, the, uh, uh, our martyrs and we're going to remember all the uh, all, all the efforts and what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> uh, all the suffering uh, and all the selflessness that went through it, uh, we're going to remember that and we're going to uh, promise again that we will have a free Eritrea, we will have a democratic Eritrea. That will happen because we will not stop. We will go on and on until until the day when we finally have a democratic country, not only a free independent country, but a democratic country where people can live freely and their citizenship and their rights are going to be observed. Um, anything else that I have not asked you that you want to say? that um, uh, unless we put uh, all our efforts, uh, since the government is, is relentless, it goes on. Still to this day, people are being imprisoned, so we have to just continue and we will go on. Okay, let's do a separate interview. Let's go ahead and just kind of have you take her spot. Give me one second to squeeze. We have a M E S G H I N A B A H T A. And you're a member of the same organization? Yeah, I'm a member of the executive board of the organization and the, I'm the secretary of the organization. So our name is uh, the Atom means uh, enough because there have been a lot of atrocities inside Eritrea. The dictator Isaias has been doing all those uh, evils in our country. There are about 361 prisons. Uh, uh, and are, the prisoners are uh, there for a limited time. We don't know why they are there. And then we uh, are forcing uh, all the youth to go to the institution. The Russia should be limited like there. It's unlimited. The people who are 20 years, 30 years, there's a lot of interest uh, going on in Eritrea. Uh, so when we celebrate this Independence Day, of course, we fought for 30 years the war against the Ethiopian population. But once the, the liberation was achieved, the dictator is asked to cover all of our rights. There is no freedom of press, no freedom of speech, no freedom to organize, uh, no freedom to worship. All of the human rights are taken away. And now we took our uh, youth uh, to Ethiopia to fight uh, Ethiopia's war, uh, because they have some problem going to the north side of Ethiopia. And our youth, under ages have been uh, uh, forced to go there and they've been killed there. So we are celebrating our uh, Independence Day. At the same time, we are telling all the world what's, the, what's going on in Eritrea. Yeah. Um, are there similar protests that you know of going on in Eritrea or is it, you know, is it just not allowed to be protesting no, the government? Yeah. It's not possible. Uh, yeah. If somebody take, even you cannot have a meeting for uh, two or three more people at a time. There is no freedom of uh, demonstration or any kind of protest. Uh, some people tried before and uh, the, they were sure at. So there is no any freedom. You cannot do anything inside Eritrea. Uh, as far as the, the dictatorship is concerned, they don't allow anything.
Um, do you, if you had a message for the people that will see this, you know, what would you want the audience to know? Well, we want to know what's going on inside Eritrea because it has been uh, locked out of the world and it was dark. Uh, in fact, last uh, two weeks ago, there was one uh, PBS. Uh, can you can take that? Uh, I'll get that. And then yeah. Then so yeah. The TBS, uh, they have uh, five years of uh, undercover investigation inside Eritrea and they discover a lot of uh, things going on inside the prison. So we need to tell the world that there is a lot of uh, uh, injustice in Eritrea and uh, right now everything is getting exposed. Even the US Senate had uh, some kind of resolution this past week. We want to know the world that uh, uh, if we are fighting for justice then we have to Look at what's going on in Eritrea and uh, have some solution. Uh, anything else that I have not asked you that, that you'd like to say? Well, we want to, everybody to know that uh, our sovereignty comes first. Eritrea is an independent uh, country and uh, we need to have uh, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of uh, press, and then rule of law. At least we have to have the uh, uh, Elected government, elected parliament, and, uh, and the judiciary. Uh, but there's nothing in that inside Eritrea like that. So we need to, to know, to tell the world that uh, we need help in fighting this uh, bitter dictator uh, in Eritrea. That's it. Thank you very much.
Watch PBS Frontline Skating Eritrea on YouTube. Watch PBS. Watch PBS Frontline. Watch PBS Frontline. Skating Eritrea. Skating Eritrea on YouTube. On YouTube. Silence means. Silence means supporting the dictator. Supporting the dictator. Underage Eritrean conscripts. Underage Eritrean conscripts. Dying in Ethiopia. Dying in Ethiopia. It must stop now. It must stop now. Biden act 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 now. Down down dictator. Down down dictator. Down down Isaias. Down down Isaias. Isaias must go. Isaias must go. Must go. Down down dictator. Down down dictator. Down down dictator. Nehena. 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 Democracy, Zamber, Serenat and the Tisbeer Triquanan, Serenat and the Tisbeer Triquanan, Nat and Letna, Mr. Alam, the Hobby Rimber, the Hobby Rinabur, the Hobby Rinabur, the Hobby Rinabur, the Hobby Rinabur, thank you. He says, I see, he says, I Eritrean troops out of Tigray. Eritrean troops out of Tigray. Eritrean troops out of Tigray. When do you want it?